First create an ARPG template project. Right-click and create a folder where new content will be placed. Right-click and create a scene file. Click the settings button in the upper left corner. Width and height affect how many tiles there are horizontally and vertically. Tile sizes should be set according to what you need, I set it to 16 here. Right-click and create a normal tile set file. Drag a tile image file into the project, and set it as an image in the tile set file. Set the tiles width and height, here it's 16 by 16, which is the same size as the setting for the scene. Width and height function the same as before. Set it to be no less than the number of tiles in the picture. Create a tile map in the scene object list. The new tile map has the same width and height as the scene. Double click to edit and open the tile file you just set. Select a tile to draw it onto the tile map. Press Q for the eraser. Press E for the pencil. Press R for the rectangle tool. Press T for the ellipsis tool. And press Y for the fill tool. Be aware. When changing the size of the scene, the size of the tile map will remain the same, possibly leading to unwanted results. Creating a new tile map will automatically set the shortcut keys to toggle between tile maps, in this case the keys are 1 and 2. Open the tile file, select a tree, and draw it into the second layer tile map. Press Escape to exit map editing mode. Right click to set the player's starting point. Click here or hit F4 to run the game. We can clearly see there's a layering issue with the trees. Select the tile map where the tree is located and set the layer as object layer. The result is better, but still not optimal. Open the tile file and click the settings button. Here we can correctly set the display priority of the trees. Priority, or Z-depth, affects the display order of objects and characters. Now the tree displays correctly. Open the passable area layer here, or press the apostrophe key. Set the trees as a wall block so that they're impassable. Success. Now it displays correctly, and is impassable as well. I'll create a new normal tile set file and name it tree. Set up the image file as we did before. But this time, change the tile width and height to 48 and 64, respectively. This is an irregular tile, so it needn't have the same width and height. Now draw the large tiles into the tree layer tile map. Treating the tree as a single tile avoids collisions when multiple tiles are crowded together. Now you'll notice that trees at the edge of the screen vanish as the camera pans. This is an optimization feature, to avoid drawing off-screen tiles. Now let's look at project settings in the upper left, or hit the F1 key for a shortcut. Find the block rendering area and expand it. Now off-screen tiles will still be rendered within the set distance. Open the terrain layer and set the impassable areas.
And this concludes the initial introduction to scenes and tiles. The next video will go over character and animation creation, so stay tuned.